Well, the NBA playoffs are in full swing, and that means a chance at another ring for Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. The team recently launched a playoff NFT collection to mark the start of the postseason. And joining us now to discuss all things Warriors, we've got president and COO Brandon Schneider. Brandon, we're going to get to the NFT collection in just a bit, but let's talk about the playoffs. The first weekend, seeing really strong ratings. Um, what do you think is driving the eyes to these games? Uh, pe the people want to see the Warriors. Uh, no, I, I think uh, <laughs> we've, been, we, we've been fortunate. Um, I think, you know, we, we've been a successful team, obviously. We were the first team to go to the finals uh, five years in a row since the Celtics in 1966. So there's been a lot of recent success. And then I think it's also the style of play. Um, I think people really gravitate to Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, and now Jordan Poole at 22 years old has been a rising star. So, and then, and then the other thing is, I think they see the energy at Chase Center. You know, when you're watching on TV, and I wouldn't know because I'm there, but what people tell me is you can feel that energy on, on your TV. So it just makes it feel like the huge event that it is. Uh, so I think all those things combined uh, create the rating scenario that you're describing. Uh, yeah, Brandon, I wanted to ask you just about uh, kind of riding the hype here. I understand that the Warriors are, are engaging in an NFT offering with some of the players and some of the moments in Warriors history. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that offering and also how you're pegging that to uh, this 2022 playoffs, that first round against the Nuggets. Yeah, so we, we're really excited about this second offering. So we, we were the first sports team to do an NFT drop uh, just about a year ago. Um, and it's still the, the, the highest grossing or most successful drop that any team in, in sports has done. Um, so we've been working hard to kind of figure out what do we do to kind of come back because we, we want to to make sure we're kind of uh, pushing the envelope. Um, so we, we are really closely follow the NFT community, the crypto community. Um, and so what we came up with, we're actually the first sports team ever to do a responsive uh, NFT drop. And, and for those that don't know what that means, um, it means that, that the utility of the NFTs is tied to the performance of the team. So we did 3,000 NFTs. Um, and, and when you minted your NFT, there was one of 12 different um, NFTs that you could get. You didn't know which one you were getting, varying levels of rarity uh, and varying levels of utility. Um, and then as the Warriors advance, every time we win a playoff series, every single NFT holder gets another NFT. And then some select holders, depending on which NFT that you minted, um, receive physical goods like autographed jerseys, prize packs, things like that. Um, so, you know, the idea was to make this fun. We wanted to create something so that uh, our fans win as the basketball team wins. Brandon, I, I'm gonna. This is. I'm gonna say it's a cynical take to bring on more Warriors fans, but I say that as a disgruntled Laker fan at the moment. Sad. What has been the the buy-in? I mean, what kind of interest have you generated through this latest NFT collection? It's been great. Um, you know, so we now, since this happened on Friday, we now have the two highest grossing, most successful NFT drops in sports. Um, and, and I think it's a testament to our fans. Um, you know, we, I think we've created offerings that were interesting to people and, and, and they saw the value, obviously. But I think, you know, I, I think we uh, wanted to embrace, again, that NFT community, people that, that are really into NFTs. But we also wanted to create an offering um, that, that our fans that are big fans and maybe curious about NFTs kind of introduce them as an entree into NFTs. Um, which, which was really important to us. The other thing that I think uh, has helped Akiko is we've got, uh, we've partnered with FTX. Um, and some of these platforms, some of these NFT platforms, you have to have a MetaMask wallet and you have to use Ethereum or Solana or Cardano or other specific um, types of crypto, which is great for the crypto NFT community. Um, but for a lot of our fans that are, that are dipping their toe in this water and, and learning, um, it, it's a barrier to entry. And so with FTX, you can use any type of cryptocurrency, any, any of the ones I named and a lot of other ones, um, but you can also use your credit card. Um, and so I think that, um, you know, that, that opened up accessibility um, to a larger percentage of our fans because we think we're in the very, very early days of NFTs, Web3, the metaverse. Um, and so, you know, we think we can play a role in helping to educate our fans uh, while making it really, really fun for them. Uh, Brandon, just to kind of take a step back to the to the kind of way that this NFT works again, it, it upgrades as the team advances deeper into the playoffs, and I hope they do. I hope they meet my nets in the finals. I think they, I think they will. But I want to ask you, what happens if they lose? What what happens to the NFT? Well, we won the first two games of the first series, so that that's a that's a we're on a positive track, Brian. But 
but it, it's a good point. So I think when we looked at it, um, you know, the value of the initial purchase, that's what you're buying, right? So you're paying, and these minted at $499.99. Uh, they're scarce. There's only 3,000 of them. We have 60 million uh, social media followers globally, just to give you a sense of kind of the scale of, of the Warriors brand. So there, there was a lot of demand for these things. So we think that the initial offering has a ton of value, right? And then well, the way we would use, view it, and we hope that our, our um, fans and NFT holders view it, is as we advance, that's just additional sort of icing on the cake, right? So if we win the first round to get another NFT, we win the second round to get another one, various physical uh, goods. So we, we think those are just extra benefits um, as the Warriors advance. Brandon, I, I noticed you didn't engage in Brian's question about the Nets <laughs> advancing. You're in the Western Conference. Obviously, you think the Warriors are going to go all the way there. Who would you want to face in the East? Kiko, I've been doing this for a long time. This is my 20th season with the Warriors. And, and as I mentioned, went through five finals runs in a row. What I've learned something very simple. I, we have fans asking us all the time. When I sit at the games asking me, who do you want to play in the first round? Denver, Utah. Who do you want to play in the second round? Phoenix or Memphis? And my response is really simple. Uh, careful what you wish for. <laughs> these, these, these are all very good teams, right? So, um, you know, I think, you know, as we advance, we just hope we're focused on ourselves. You know, we're, we're excited to have Steph Curry healthy. We've got our full team aside from James Wiseman, who unfortunately is out for the year, but our other 14 guys are healthy for the first time all season. So we're, we feel like we're really clicking and coming together um, at the right time. So that's our focus. Now, Brian, I will say, uh, I will uh -oh. comment on your, on your comment. I think um, playing the Nets, for obvious reasons would be fun. There's obviously been a lot of hype around their team throughout the year. Um, and, and Kevin Durant had three yep. incredible years playing for the Warriors. Like Warriors fans love Kevin Durant. So obviously like if, if we were fortunate enough to make it to the finals and the opponent was the Brooklyn Nets, I think that would be uh, incredible. Well, hey, Brandon, I'll see you at the Barclays Center in, in a few oh. weeks. How about that? How about that? <laughs> Brandon Schneider. And then I'll see you at the Chase Center, too. <laughs> All right. Hey, coast to coast, coast to coast. Brandon Schneider, Warriors president and CEO. Thanks again for stopping by. Good luck in the playoffs.